Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to use the commutative property of addition. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. The commutative property of addition is as follows. If A and B are real numbers, then A plus B equals B plus A. And you probably actually already knew this, but didn't really have a name for it. You're probably always thinking that, well, yeah, of course, duh. 5 plus 3 is 3 plus 5. Same thing. Yes, it is. And we've learned that growing up pretty easily. But now we have a name for it of why this actually works, or a statement stating that it works. So let's use that to simplify this expression. 18p plus 6q plus 15p plus 5q. Our commutative property of addition says that we can rearrange our, uh, this addition to see which ones we want to add first. So let's do that. We'll put our p's next to each other. We have 18p here, and we're going to swap the 6q and 15p. Plus 15p here, now plus the 6q, plus the 5q. We put our like terms next to each other, and now we can just add it. 18 plus a 15, we look at the coefficient there, and that is a 33p, plus 6q and 5q, again the coefficients, 6 and 5, being 11. We have 11q. And that's basically it. We swapped right here the 6q and 15p using the commutative property of addition, and then we simplified to get our answer. Well, I hope you learned something here on the commutative property of addition. If you did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math videos for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching.